So in A, we're going to list the elements that are in A. I want to view this larger. So in A, A is the A circle. We're going to have 2, 3, 5, 8, and 9. So when it's A, it's the whole circle. Make sure you're checking to see if you have it right. For B, it's A and B. And is always an eyeball, correct? So it's going to include two numbers. Unless it's A and B but not C, then it would just be the little tiny portion, correct? But A and B is the A and B eyeball. So what I would have is 2 and 8. A and B and C is the overlapped one. So 8. B or C is the snowman. So I'm in the B or C snowman. So anything in this big snowman. So it would be 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. A or B or C means if it's in A or it's in B or it's in C, I list it, right? So it's everything in all the circles. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Not C. So then I cover up the C circle and I list everything that's not in it. So it would be 1, 2, 4, and 5. Now remember, on a, that's a terrible bracket, <laughs> pretend it is good. On an A and B, just a two circle Venn diagram, correct? If I said A and not B, what happens when I have an and and then a not? What shape do we always get? The crescent moon, right? So that's this whole crescent moon, correct? We're still going to get a crescent moon for this one. I want A and not B. So I'm going to I just want to raise these up. pretend that I'm looking at the two circles. So A and B, these would be my two circles. If it was a two circle Venn diagram, right? We're pretending it's that. Now I want the A part of the crescent moon. So the A part of the crescent moon on there would be this. There's the crescent moon. Do you see it? So that's A, but not B. So this is still an A as well. So it's the 5, 9, and 3. Three, five, nine. 5, 9. Then we want C and not A and not B. So if I want C and not A and not B, I want C only. That's all that means. This is the same as saying C only. So what's in C only? Which means no overlap. What numbers are there? Six and ten. Six and ten. Nope, because four is not in C. Now for 2A, we want R or T. What is or on any Venn diagram? What shape? A snowman. So I go to R or T, the snowman. And I shade it. Then this one is R and not S. So this is R. I'm going to circle the whole R just to prove a point. I want R, but I don't want any of R that is in S. So would this be okay to circle what I did? No. No. I need to actually crescent moon it. So I want R but not S. So I have to take all this S part. I would go here and I could just erase it because it can't be any of S, correct? Mm -hmm. So it just leaves me with this. This is R but not S. It says nothing about T, so do I actually care about T at all? No, if R is in T, it's great. It's fine. I just want R but not S. This one is R and S, but not T. So R and S is actually the snowman, is, sorry, the eyeball, right? This is the R and S snowman. <laughs> I'm struggling. R and S eyeball, correct? Mm -hmm. 
but I don't want any part of T. So what am I going to do? Am I going to shade that whole thing? If I shaded the whole thing, that's R and S, correct? But what do I have to unshade, actually? Anything that's in T. So what's this another way of saying R and S, not T? R and S only. Then this one is not R, not S, and not T. So it can't be an R and S and T. can't be in any of them. So where would it be? Is it more though? It can't be a not, it's not R and not S and not T. So if I circled around not R, it would be everything outside and S would be everything outside, and T would be everything outside. So the only place that they would completely all overlap would be just on the outside, correct? R and S and T. Okay. With these ones, people get these ones wrong because they forget to subtract. The only time, uh, so remember I told you to start off with all three, then you have to go with the ands, then the singles, and then the ors. And the reason why you have to do that is you have to subtract off the previous number. The only time you do not have to subtract off a number is if it says only. Okay? So this five represents um, pizza, burger, and wraps, right? The five and the eight represent pizza and wraps. So there's 13 who like pizza and wraps. There's 40 that like burgers and wraps, and there's 15 that like burgers and pizza. Because remember, and is the eyeball shape. What does this 10 represent? The people who like burgers and pizza, but not wraps, right? So this 5 still likes burgers and pizza, so they just happen to like wraps as well. So here it says, there are 145 teenagers surveyed. Of the 145, 75 like pizza. So 75 like pizza. How many already like pizza? They have to like other things as well. But how many already like pizza? 10, 8, 18, plus 5, 23. So how many like pizza only? 52. Then we have 60 that like burgers. So in here I should have 60. There already are some people in here. Why are there already people in here in the burger circle? Because they like burgers, but they just also happen to like other things. They might just like wraps and burgers, which is 35 only. Or they might like burgers and pizza only, which is 10. Or they might like all three, which is five people, right? But they still like burgers, don't they? They just happen to like other things. They're just not as picky as these people in the burger only category, right? So I already have 35, 40, 50 in the burger circle. I need to have seven, no, I need to have 60. So 10 like burgers only. Then in the wrap circle, I, need, I have 35, 5 is 40, 48. I need to have 68. So how many like wraps only? 20. Now what's the last thing I told you can't forget? Always check. But there's 145 in here, correct? So we have 20, 30, 65, 70, 80, and then another 50 is 130, 140. So how many are out here? Five. So don't forget the outside number. That's the one that everyone forgets. So here we have... How many teachers liked, te teachers, I don't know, it's not about teachers at all. How many teenagers liked pizzas and pizza and burgers and wraps? Five. How many liked burgers but not wraps? Twenty. So I go to the burger circle, which is the blue one, and I take out all the people who like wraps, and I throw them away. So how many like burgers but not wraps? Ten and ten, which is? Twenty. Then I have burgers and pizza. Burgers and pizza. Does it say burgers and pizza only? No. 
It says burgers and pizza. So what shape is and? The eyeball. So I have to go to the eyeball. The burgers and pizza eyeball. How many are in there? 15. 10 and 5. Only burgers and pizza. So burgers and pizza only. Burgers and pizza is this one, correct? But I want burgers and pizza only. So it's only 10. I have to get rid of the 5 who also like wraps. Then burgers or pizza. Or is what shape? The snowman. So if I do burgers or pizza, I have to add these all up. Or I can take 25 off of 145. 120. You'd still take 25 off 145. 120. And then none of the three. The five sitting out. So here we have to cater for a school party, all, this is important. Don't, no, no, uh uh. I still got seven minutes. I still got six minutes. I still got, I get 11.22. I have six minutes. What about the other stuff? It's 11.18, you have four minutes. Well, that's not a six, hey? That's an eight. I got four. What about the other I got four more than what you're doing. You're ruining it. Stop. You're ruining it. You're doing it on Monday. Okay. So, we're going to go through, shush. Um, to cater for a school party, all of the 115 students involved brought at least one of the following. So there's going to be sandwiches, chips, lemonade, and on the outside I'm going to have zero because they brought at least one of them. Correct? Now where do I always have to start with? The middle. So there are five that brought all three. So I start there. Then I have 24 brought chips and lemonade. So people will go chips and lemonade and then they'll go 24 here. But remember, there are already five that brought it, correct? There are already five out of 24. So how many only brought chips and lemonade only? 19. You have to subtract. Now there's 27 that brought sandwiches and lemonade. So in here I need to have 27. There happens to be five people who already brought it. So how many brought sandwiches and lemonade only? 22. I have to subtract the 5 off. Then I have 17 brought sandwiches and chips. I need to have 17 in this eyeball. I already have 5. So 12 brought sandwiches and chips only. We have to remember to subtract. Do you see that? Or your test is going to be awful if you don't remember that. The only time you don't subtract is when it says only. Or it says sandwiches and chips but not lemonade. Something like that. Then we go to our singles. 54 brought sandwiches. So in the sandwich circle, I need to have 54. I already have 22, 34, 39. So how many is this going to be? 39 to 54. And then 70 have to bring lemonade. So in the lemonade circle, I need to have 70. I already have 22 and 19 is 41, 46, and I need 70. 24, that's not going to work. And then I can use the total to get this piece, and normally I can't do that, but I can in this instance because it says 115 students brought at least one. So that means there's none out here. So I can go 115 minus 70, and then 85, 95, 97, so I need 3 plus how many? 15, so 18. So it says how many students brought chips only? 18. The rest you need to finish. 